How you guys doing? Coach Anthony here, head boxing instructor and owner of It's On Boxing MMA located in Delray, New Jersey. Uh, today's video is going to be the basic boxing stance. I already made this video, but what I'm going to do is redo it. There was a couple of things I didn't like in the video, so I decided to redo it. As basic as this video is, this is a very important video because the foundation is everything, and therefore I got to make sure you guys get it right. Um, but first and foremost, I want to give a big shout out to Max City Media and Design. They're the guys behind the scenes. They're hooking me up here, helping me with my YouTube channel, giving me great professional work. If you guys need any kind of professional videography work, photo shoots, man, they're the guys. They'll take care of you. Tell them Coach Anthony sent you. But all right, let's go ahead and get ready to um, focus on the foot positioning of this video, okay? So what I want you to do is look down at my feet right now, all right? And if you notice, I got my front foot in front of my head and I got my back foot, you know, right here lined up with my shoulder. Okay, I got the front foot on a 45 degree angle and I got the back foot, um, I'm sorry. I got the front foot on a 20 degree angle and my back foot on a 45 degree angle, okay? If I didn't have a line here, some of you guys won't have the line. You know, I use the lines because I think it's really good for foot positioning. But let's just say you didn't have the line. Look at my feet again real quick. My front toe is going to line up with my back heel. Okay, so it's a toe-heel alignment. It kind of keeps that balance. It keeps that separation. You don't want your feet behind each other. You definitely want to keep them slightly separated. That's what keeps you grounded. All right, so now we're going to pick it back up. You already know where your feet's positioned. Oh, one more point about the feet. Go back to my feet real quick. You want to keep both feet slightly on the balls of your feet, okay? So I'm going to go on a sideways view real quick so you can see what the balls of your feet mean. It means almost like on your tippy toe, but you're not completely on your tippy toes, right? They're just slightly off the ground. I like both feet slightly off the ground. You have trainers that say one foot should be planted or the front foot should be planted. I think that there's a time and a place for when you want that to happen. So what I say is just keep both feet slightly on the balls of your feet. It'll really help you with escaping and coming in and getting your shots off and getting out. All right, but now that we got that covered, I got my boxing stance. My upper body is also going to be in a 45 degree angle, just like my back foot. I'm going to go ahead and pick my hands straight up. Now right here, I want you to notice a couple things that's very important. When I bring my hands up, you're going to hear all the trainers say, keep your hands up. And they're right, you should keep your hands up. But you don't want to keep your hands up too high. You bring your hands up too high, you leave your body completely exposed, okay? So what you want to do is you want to be able to protect your body and your chin at the same time. I'm picking my left hand slightly higher than my right hand. My elbows are in. This hand is protecting one side of my face, and this hand is protecting the other side of my face. Now, the reason why I keep my lead hand a little bit higher than my rear hand is because, for one, if somebody throws that straight right hand, bang, it takes no effort for me to block the shot, okay? Um, another reason is, as you get tired, especially in the beginning stages, your hand starts to come lower. The lower it comes, the lower it comes, the more susceptible you are to getting caught with a shot because a lot of times when you, when you have bad habits, you don't even realize you have them, so what'll happen is that'll become a bad habit and bang, you'll get caught. So at least if it starts here and it starts to drop, you're still in a good position, okay? So I got my elbows in. I got my feet nice in position where they're supposed to be. I got my chin tucked, okay? This is a basic boxing stance. As you improve, things are gonna get modified. You might learn how to fight in a shell defense, and we'll talk about that later on in the channel. You might learn how to keep your hands a little bit low, We'll talk about that later on in the channel. But when you first walk in a boxing gym, what you want to do is learn how to keep your hands up, your elbows in, your chin tucked, your feet positioned nice and well. And that's a basic boxing stance, baby. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I want to give a shout out to everybody. Subscribe to the channel. But if you're watching this video, you didn't subscribe, man, let's press the subscribe button. Press the like button, man, okay? I'm going to be giving a lot of free information as detailed as possible because I love to teach, man. I want to teach you guys the right way, all right? So make sure you follow me on Instagram, Coach Anthony, Boxing Life.